Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today we're practicing with some confusing vocabulary and pronunciation. So let's get started. Today we're looking at these three words. They're spelled differently, but the pronunciation is very similar. Let's take a closer look. The first word is still. Pronunciation makes a short sound, i, i, like this is, i, i. The mouth is slightly open, i, and the mouth open a little bit, u, 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 u. Still, still. We use still to describe something that continues. Example, he's 35 years old and he still lives at home. He still lives at home with his parents. He never moved out. He still lives at home. He still lives at home with his parents. Let's practice. Does he still live at home with his parents? That's right. He still lives at home with his parents. Remember the position of still. We always have to put it in the correct position. Still goes before the verb. Lives is the verb, so we put still before. He still lives at home with his parents. I cannot move still. I cannot change the position. I cannot say still he lives at home. It has to be before the verb. He still lives at home. But if you use a form of to be, example, I am, you are, he is, then still goes after these verbs. Example, he is still there. He is still there. He's still sitting on the sofa. He's still sitting on the couch. When I say he's still sitting, I have two verbs. I have the verb to be, is, and I have the continuous action, sitting. So still has to go in the middle between the two actions because it has to be after the verb to be. He's still sitting on the couch. Let's practice. Is he still there? That's right. He's still there. Is he still sitting on the couch? That's right. He's still sitting on the couch. He hasn't moved. Now let's talk about the other meaning of still. Still can be used to talk about something that's not moving, something without movement. For example, the water. The water is very still today because it's not windy. The water is not moving. It looks very still. The water is still today because it's not very windy. There's no wind, so the water is still. Let's practice. Is the water still today? That's right, the water is still today. Why is the water still? That's right, the water is still because it's not very windy. I can also use still to describe an action. I can say sit still. It means sit and don't move. I tell my children, sit still. I tell my children to sit still at the dinner table. Because children are always moving around, I tell them to sit still. Stop moving. I think children should sit still at the dinner table. Let's practice. What do you think? Do you think kids should sit still at the dinner table? That's right. Kids should sit still at the dinner table. Or if I'm taking a picture of my children, again, they're moving around, so I say, stand still. I'm trying to take your picture. They need to stand still so I can take their picture. Let's practice. Do they need to stand still so I can take their picture? That's right. They need to stand still so I can take their picture. Now let's look at these two words. These two words are pronounced exactly the same. Steel, using the long E like green beans. Ste, steel, steel. When you link the E sound, there's an extra sound. Steel, steel. Link the sounds. Steel. So these words are pronounced exactly the same. Steel and steel. Not still, but steel. The mouth is closer together. E. Steal is not exactly the same thing as rob. You can rob a person and you can rob a place. Example, you can rob a bank or a store. But you can't steal a bank. You can't steal a store. Steal is for taking the object. Whatever thing, whatever object you take, that's when you use steal. You can steal electronics, you can steal a car, and you can steal money. But don't do it. It's illegal. 
The passive steal is stole. So if I ask the question who, I say who stole the money. If I make a question with did, I use the action in the present. Did you steal the money? And you answer negative. No, I didn't steal the money. With didn't, we use the present verb too. I didn't steal the money. Who stole the money? Let's practice. Did you steal the money? That's right. I didn't steal the money either. And now we have this steal. Different spelling, same pronunciation. Use the long E like green beans. Steal. Steal. Steel is a form of metal. This kitchen has a lot of steel. It's called stainless steel. This kitchen has a lot of stainless steel. It's a stainless steel kitchen. Restaurants in the U.S. usually have stainless steel kitchens. Everything is stainless steel because it's easier to clean. So most restaurants have stainless steel kitchens. Let's practice. Do most restaurants have stainless steel kitchens? That's right. Most restaurants have stainless steel kitchens. So remember, the first word is still. It has two meanings. The pronunciation is more open. I, I, still, still. And the second word and the third word are pronounced exactly the same. The mouth is more closed. E, make a long E sound. Steal. So the second word, steal, and the third word is steal. So let's say them all together. Still, steal, steal. Different pronunciation. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.